What's up YouTube, this is Galactic God, and I'm coming at you now with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. Now this week, what I kind of like to talk about is holographic cards. More importantly, the holographic cards that are once worth so much money, and then a reprint comes out, and what do you do with that card? When is the best time to sell that card and make a good amount of profit? Now for this video, I'm going to use Pot of Duality as an example of what I'm talking about. Now, at one point in time, Pot of Duality was the creme de la creme of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All the greatest duelists wanted it for their deck. It was super expensive. It was a secret rare, and Duelist Revolution was the only way to get it. Now, because of this, the price of Pot of Duality skyrocketed on up. People were using it in almost every deck at the time to try and add some consistency to their decks. People were playing it in sets of three in every kind of conceivable deck you could think of which was good. It helped the game, it helped kind of stabilize a lot of the decks that made decks that had inconsistency problems uh, a lot more playable. But the problem is, it was secret rare, it was hard to get, it was expensive, so if you got them, you could either keep them, make your decks a lot better, or you can sell them and make a good amount of profit. Now, what ends up happening is what happens with a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are worth a lot of money. They get reprinted. Now, if you don't have the foresight or the knowledge or just the good hunch or intuition to know when to sell that card, I mean, that's really all there is. No one can really predict to a letter when Konami is going to reprint a card. So you can't really say, oh, I knew they were going to reprint it because you didn't really know. No one really knows unless they actually work for Konami and actually had some sort of inside information. That being said, what do you do with those cards once the announcement comes that it's going to be reprinted? Do you sell them right away? Do you try and hold on to them? What is the best thing to do once you find out a card is going to be reprinted? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, in Pot of Duality's instance, once people found out that Pot of Duality was going to be reprinted, you can see that the price dropped from, you know, $175 per Pot of Duality drastically on down. Now, as you can see here, the secret rare version of Pot of Duality dropped so low as to about $20 on eBay. That's crazy to think that Pot of Duality, the secret rare, was once lower than $20, especially coming from such a high beginning. So what ends up happening is the super rares do get eventually released, or whatever promo, and if we're being more generic about this, and then the market starts to fluctuate once again. People get the supers, but people start to want to bling their deck out more. People don't want just the supers, they want the better version, the more harder to get version. A lot of players tend to gravitate towards the highest rarity of a card. Um, a lot of players like to super bling their deck out. Um, and so what this ends up happening usually after that is the card price that once plummeted down super low starts to rise once again. Uh, so after a couple months release of the super rare promo of Pot of Duality, the secret rare starts to climb back up in value. Gets up to about $80, $90 in value. With the market constantly in a flux, some people don't know when to sell. My personal advice for people who are just looking to sell the cards is if once you find out that there is something that's going to be reprinted or be limited, instead of trying to get rid of it right away like everyone else, you should try to hold on to it for another month or two and wait for the market to kind of stabilize and come back up. When you try and sell with the massive herds, you're not really going to make as big of a profit as you hope. At least that's my uh, intuition on it. At least that's the trends that I've noticed on selling cards on eBay and picking cards up from people. Uh, it's just that eventually the market kind of fixes itself back out or at least evens it to a much more better value. In the comment section below, let me know what you guys think. When is the best time to sell a holographic card after a reprint has been announced? Do you think it is right away? Do you think you should just wait a little while, maybe a month or two, and see what happens? Or have you noticed that that's kind of not always the case? And I guess that's about it for this week. This is Galactic God, out. <laughs>